All right, well, Canopy Growth providing a little medicine for some bruised investors today. The company tapping Constellation Brands CFO David Klein to become its new CEO. And investors, they liked it. Shares up 14%. The move strengthens Constellation's influence over Canopy. The booze maker is now Canopy's biggest shareholder, having sunk in more than $4 billion since 2017. Despite all the hemp hype, been a tough few months for investors. Canopy down 49% in the past six months on the Toronto Exchange. Let's talk more about all of this. Joining us now from Las Vegas, Tim Seymour. And full disclosure, of course, Tim is all in on the cannabis craze. He's long a number of names. He's the portfolio manager of a cannabis ETF. Also sits on the advisory board for cannabis companies. You can read all of Tim's disclosures at fast.cnbc.com. And after that, we have no time for the interview. Sorry about that, Tim. <laughs> uh, no, we're going to get right. This is, this is a guy coming hey, from Brian. a major corporation. Hey, all right, yeah. adding a little bit of sort of, uh, I hate to say it, adult heft to the industry. Well, if you think about it, you know, David Klein is someone that's presided over one of the most profitable spirits companies at, from the CFO's chair. Um, if you think about Constellation Brands, this has been an emerging markets company in some sense in terms of where they found growth. So their foray into cannabis was something that was clearly very aggressive. Uh, and you can make an argument they, like many folks, uh, overbuilt capacity, went after assets. There was a bit of a land grab. Uh, and I think you've seen in the stock over the last six to nine months where uh, this has been a painful reality check to not only um, the company may or may not have bought assets that made a lot of sense, and one plus one doesn't always equal three, um, but that the gross margins on the company have been some of the worst in Canada. And for one of the biggest players, um, it's, it's not surprising investors have been very frustrated. But this appointment of, of truly a, you know, a consumer product CEO, someone who knows the CPG world very well and someone who knows this company very well is very exciting. I think he's the right man for the job. And what does it tell you maybe about the continued strategy behind the cannabis companies and the traditional companies that are involved in booze and spirits? Are they just going to ultimately just kind of come together and sort of be enveloped in that same supply chain, keep the cost down, keep the distribution up? Well, see, so you're exactly you're getting to. Branding, uh, distribution, packaging, uh, these are things that have made some of the most successful companies in the world in that space. Uh, it's what's defined their difference. And really, if you think about the cannabis space, it is a consumer product. It's a CPG story. And that's very much what I think they're trying to do at Constellation Brands. David Klein um, has been very involved in this transition over the last six months. In fact, he was named chairman back in, in, in November. Uh, he was uh, someone that certainly has been part of bringing other members of his team on board. The current CFO, Mike Lee, is also a, a Constellation veteran. So for continuity's sake, this is a very exciting time, and I think people were waiting for this moment.